Now, growing up, did your parents tell you stories about your family history on any side of your family, like at family reunions or Christmas, where they tell the story about great grandpa? You know, black people always have a Cherokee chief or princess somewhere hiding their family tree, which is never there to be right. found. Did you? Well, we never had the myth of royalty, <laughs> but we did have a sense of place. I know that on my grandfather, my maternal grandfather's side, uh, Canadian, French Canadian, his last name was La Framboise, which is, of course, the raspberry, mm -hmm. which is a, to great humor when you're in France and announcing that to people. Uh, I know my maternal grandmother, I always thought was Irish or English. Uh, we talked a little bit about their history. They were minors. Uh, on my father's side, uh, the, the story is that we were from Luca or Segremino and Monte on the one side, and from outside of Chieti on my grandmother's side. So there were always the characters, but we lived and knew our grandparents, and I had actually met my great grandparents on my mother's side, but didn't know them that well because I was so young. But we grew up in a predominantly immigrant feeling West Coast way where we embraced our differences and were always kind of laughing at our Scandinavian neighbors who really were at that point mutts and had no real relationship beyond the, the street we lived on. Did they teach you because you don't look Italian? Uh, quote unquote. Right, quote unquote. I mean, from here to here, I look Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Your lips. <laughs> exactly. My lips and my nose are kind of Roman and Tuscan. <laughs> But did you get teased? I mean, but well, we got teased. Part? We got teased more because we would eat oxtails than because I had red hair. Because there was a lot of <laughs> Irish immigrants in our neighborhood too. So red hair wasn't. They always made fun of Mario Batali, you know, because they couldn't. And they called us Italians. And mm -hmm. we were there wasn't that many in my suburban neighborhood. But we were always surrounded by family, so we were we were always more proud of it than afraid of it. What would you like to know about your ancestors? If you could know anything, wave a wand, what would it be? I guess I just kind of, why they left the idyllic world of Italy as early as they did. My understanding, and I'm not sure of this, is I believe we're 20th century immigrants, and I'm just wondering why you would leave what was perfect, what was the dream of America, when I know that the Italian culture is so, there, there's really no, although there's poor in Italy, there's nobody that's wanting. Mm -hmm. Even the poor Italians always have something to eat. They always live somewhere relatively nice. Mm -hmm. I always wonder why they would leave that. That would be my real question.